Yeah, I'm with um, Stephen Bulk. Um, thank you for inviting me, Stephen. That's all right. Um, nice to talk to you. Just to chat a little bit about um, your work and obviously the, the new um, film that will be coming out on the 26th of uh, this month, um, and that's The Awakening. Uh -huh. uh, but I'd like to talk about some of your other um, work as well beforehand. Sure. Um, obviously, um, Afterlife, that's something uh, right, yeah. that a lot of people know, the series on um, BBC. Yeah. What actually um, got you started with Afterlife? Oh, very interesting. Um, uh, let me think of the best way to explain that. Um, I've always been really interested in the idea of a medium as a regular character in a TV series. There sure. are certain things that um, appeal to one in the form of TV. You know, the, the, the idea of a medium investigating different stories of the week, kind of yeah. cases of the week, as they say in America. Yeah. Um, you know, that's that's been part of the format of TV since. TV began from Diction to Doc Green. It's always kind of stories of the week, that kind of thing, uh, with detectives. And um, I always th thought, well, not always, but I mean, for, for many years, thought that the equivalent of that in a supernatural series would be ideally a medium, you know. And the, 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 the additional good thing about that is all the, the things that really appeal to me about the medium as a dramatic character, which is character in the middle of a drama that's kind of disbelieved by everyone else. You know, they know the truth, but everyone else thinks they're balmy. Yeah. You know, so from that, the idea of a kind of troubled medium, I always, I always describe um, Afterlife as the story of a troubled medium and even more troubled psychologist who's writing yeah. about her, you know. I thought, so, I thought it was quite, um, I mean, you know, the, the, the old, whole idea of the medium being like the detective was, was, was you know, was unique, I think. And, and unfortunately, it wasn't quite unique because by the time <laughs> it went on TV, of course, there was the... American series called Medium, Medium, yeah, which also had an Allison, strangely enough, a synchronicity. But of course, when I wrote it, which was, I'll tell you when I wrote it, was before The Sixth Sense came out. Because okay. I remember, which was in the late 90s, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And I wrote the first episode for not the company that eventually made it, a different company, as such is the way the television works. But um, they were very inactive in pushing it with ITV at the time. They yeah. didn't want to put it forward to ITV, didn't think the time was ready, the climate was ready for ITV to commit to a supernatural series. And then The Sixth Sense came out. So I was on the phone saying, look, there's people queuing around the block to watch The Sixth Sense, and we've got afterlife about this medium. You know, I see dead people, almost exactly the same line as in my show. Um, surely it must be the right time to pitch it to them, but even so, they were still reluctant. So it was virtually another six, seven, eight years before, you know, television moves very slowly in terms of fashion. So you know, in a different company, they were keen enough to push it with uh, ITV, and uh, and it finally got off the ground. Because I think with um, um, Andrew Lincoln that played uh, Dr. Robert Bridge, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I mean, I I think I, I kind of look at myself in that, um, almost from um, questioning the whole the whole paranormal and I think yeah. that was an angle that I really enjoyed on. Well it was influenced by quite a few people that I've met, I've read a lot of books about parapsychology and met people like Kieran O'Keefe and, and yeah. Richard Wiseman, and I suppose a little tweak, a little peppering of Darren Brown's kind of scepticism, so all that kind of filtered into the character but mainly it was kind of, mainly it was my own scepticism informing that character, I always, always say that both those, both Alison and Robert are, are two sides of me, there's Robert who is a writer He's very analytical. He doesn't believe in anything. He actually sits down and his way of dealing with the world is to analyse things and to come up with the answers. Um, Alison, on the other hand, is the other side of me who gets scared of bumps in the night, yeah. imagines things, has kind of wild imagination, you might say, and are kind of scared, scared of her imagination. You know, it was quite an interesting ending as well, wasn't it? I mean, it, it kind of like all, all turned around at the end. Um, the very end of the second yeah, series? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that, the very interesting thing, because like you, Richard, I'm very sceptical as a person, and being a writer of ghost stories, people find it jaw-droppingly surprising <laughs> when yeah. I say I don't believe in any of it. Um, and actually, most of the people I know that write ghost stories, supernatural stories, horror stories, are, are, are as sceptical as me. Um, yeah. But, um, but the thing is... When you're writing a story, the story itself, especially in the, in the case of Afterlife, uh, it does have a life of its own after a while. And you can't um, proselytize or kind of preach in a, in a drama. Somehow the drama starts to dictate to you about what it wants to say. So even though I privately think that you know, most mediums are possibly deluded or self-deluded sure, sure. or, 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 or some degree of fakery is involved or misapprehension, 
Um, the story I was telling emotionally about those two characters didn't want to push in that direction. It didn't want to push in the direction of Robert coming to the conclusion, for instance, of that Alison was completely mad and she needed to be in a nut house, and that's where she'd end up. The story was about the change in Robert. So the change in Robert was the real journey that it, it ended up going on. Um, and you have to have faith that the story is telling you the right thing in a way. I think that's the thing with writing, because I know when I've, I've done um, um, writing myself, is, is I've found, like you say, you know, that the story goes completely with the characters, what you put on the situations, and before you know it, mm. the, the ending's worked itself out. That's right, yeah. 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 Um, I think what's good about, um, with, with um, the afterlife as well, I think it's very important, is to care about the characters in, mm -hmm. in any kind of fiction, yeah. and I, I certainly think that that was okay. it. Good. Going, um, okay, we'll talk about Ghostwatch. 